Our top story this hour is indeed Apple unveiling its next generation iPhones and watch. And as expected, the tech giant is replacing its lightning chargers with USB-C's. Yahoo Finance's Josh Lipton is here now. So give us the, I mean, there weren't any big surprises in here. They, as usual, we got most of the stuff in dribs and drabs and leaks. A lot of dust into leak up. now. I know. Yeah, There's a lot what, of rumors, like, a lot of reports. What's most important? What, what do we it? need so to So this know? is this is Apple's big show. Tim Cook takes the stage, makes a lot of a lot of new announcements. Let's run through the highlights. I'm going to start, of course, with the iPhone. Apple introducing four new models. The base iPhone 15 will cost $7.99. The larger iPhone 10 Plus will cost $8.99. Also, two new high-end Pro models as well. So that's going to feature new titanium design, faster processor and camera upgrades. Apple billing this as the most powerful Pro lineup yet. iPhone Pro starts at $999 and the iPhone Pro Max starts at $1,199. Now, if you are ready to upgrade, pre-orders Apple saying start this Friday. And yes, as expected, Apple confirming that USB-C ports are coming to iPhone. That, of course, in response to new EU regulations. Also, new wearables were introduced at the show today. A new high-end Apple Watch Ultra 2 priced at $7.99. That comes with Apple's brightest display ever, a company says. A powerful new chip and 36 hours of battery life with regular use. And a new double tap feature that lets users control the watch with just one hand. Meanwhile, the Series 9 is going to be priced at $3.99 and the watch SE starts at $2.49. Wearables, as we know, important for Apple. Analysts estimate the watch now does account for about 5% of total revenue. Same with AirPods, an estimated 5%. And Apple did introduce new AirPods Pro today as well, second generation for 249. So these are real and meaningful business lines now for Tim Cook's company. Okay, really interesting here, some of these upgrades. Maybe I'll finally get rid of my 11. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you, Julia, to I do that. They're waiting for Make me. the move. It still works, though. <laughs> it works fine. Um, the interesting thing is not really seeing a lot of change in price. I think there's a $100 increase at the top of the mm -hmm. top, the Max Pro. But otherwise, not seeing a change in price. What's what's yes. up with that? Well, so off iPhone, uh, you're right. The new iPhone Pro 99. The iPhone Pro Max, $1,199. And that is interesting. I think that'll be interesting to see how consumers react to that. You know, is that a ceiling that people say, you know what, I am not willing to make that move? I'm facing, hey, listen, we talk on Yahoo Finance all the time. Some of these kind of storm clouds facing the consumer. They got a lot going on right now with rising energy prices and higher borrowing costs. So is that a ceiling? Or do people feel like, you know what, this device, Julie, I text, I message, I got payments, I got music, I got health information. I know I'm going to keep it on average now for three and a half years. That's the average, according to analysts. So maybe they are willing to stretch for that higher price point. We'll see. Well, and everybody now pays over that three and a half years, right? The vast exactly. majority of people right. now buying these phones are not paying that $9.99 or whatever it is up front. They're paying it over. The that that would be the, the bull case. That this new price point for the very high end, people would say, you know what? Over three and a half years, people would feel like I can spread that out a little bit. I can stretch. We'll see. We will see. Thanks, yeah. Josh.